Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Everybody's all right today. Today is Monday, October 24th. Currently it's 49 degrees. High today is 74. That'll feel good. Yesterday was wonderful. Uh, no chance of rain. 74% humidity. Winds are zero. And air quality is 80 right now. It's getting a little higher air quality. It was up around 55 to 58 or something like that every day. But anyway, today I will have a Kroger haul. Kroger haul, we got some good digital, well, great digital uh, coupons that we used and got some things the other day. So you definitely want to check that out. What's for dinner? I fixed that potato taco. You know, I showed y'all the uh, recipe yesterday. And uh, I fixed the potato taco casserole. We had some applesauce with it. And I made cheddar garlic biscuits. And I didn't have any. I wanted to put some uh, Colby Jack, shredded Colby Jack in the uh, biscuits. And... Um, didn't have any more because I put it all in a casserole. So I put some Italian blend in it and it was great. It, it didn't, it doesn't really have to have any extra cheese in it, but I just go ahead and do that. I always have to add a little something to everything, it seems like. Tonight, we have some sub buns frozen that I need to get out. Some hoagie buns. And um, we have a three different kinds of lunch meat in there so I need to make I made a sandwich well it's been I made a sub about a week ago I guess it was and uh, uh, we need to use some of that lunch meat you know and we've got some we still got some frozen even but we got three different packs in there you know and we I don't want to end up having to throw any of it away or anything so we're going to make some big old subs tonight, and I'll probably fix some, either some uh, fries or some, or either we'll just have some chips with it. So, that'd be something different tonight. I love a good uh, sub sandwich. We love the ones from uh, Publix. Uh, but I, I can make a pretty good one myself, you know. But they are good from Publix, because they make that bread right there. Oh, God. I love it. And this morning, I have a taste test. You've probably seen the uh, thumbnail, you know. It's uh, Nestle Nesquik. This one's vanilla. And this, uh, I got this at Grocery Outlet. I imagine you can get these wherever you, uh, wherever they have the Nesquik products. But uh, they weren't refrigerated. I mean, I I guess they you know after you open them they probably have to be refrigerated, but uh, but they weren't. And the date on them is like December twenty seventh. So if they were supposed to be refrigerated, there's no way they would sit in the fridge till December twenty seventh. So they must have a way to fix it to where you know they don't have to be refrigerated before you open them. Well, you know, you've seen the other things like the box milk and stuff is is on the shelf everywhere. So I guess it's the same type thing. But anyway, if you drink the whole bottle, and I doubt I will, uh, it's 250 calories. i got to have my coffee in the morning. I, I can't drink a whole bunch of other things because I like my coffee. Uh, 250 calories. Four grams of total fat, that's 5%. Let's, let's just do the percents. 13% of saturated fat, 7% of cholesterol, 8% of sodium, 14% of carbs, 3% of fiber, 38% of sugars, 28% of protein. Wow, that's a lot of protein. 20% of D, calcium 50%, potassium 10%. Vitamin A, 25%. Wow. Got a lot of 
Yeah, this says no high fructose corn syrup. That's always good. Let's see. I just seen if it had any other information on it. Yeah, it says shake well, do not freeze, keep refrigerated after opening. Of course, I had it in the refrigerator. You wouldn't want to drink it as warm, I don't think. Made with real milk. Okay, I mean, I just was looking around it to see if it had any more information you might need. Oh, turn the whole bottle. Okay, it's supposed to tear around like that. Okay, I tore half the thing at the <laughs> off. So. Oh yeah, I smell vanilla for sure. Yum. Yeah, that's really good. You know, normally if I was to get something like this, it'd definitely be chocolate. You know, uh, I think they even got a strawberry one. I don't know if it's the same exact thing as this, but they got strawberry milk too. I probably wouldn't get it. I, I always would get chocolate. But, that's really very good, y'all. Very, very good. And a lot of protein, a lot of quick protein there. I definitely, before I forget, sometimes I forget to say how many stars. Uh, five, five out of five. Five out of five stars. Definitely, it's good. If you like vanilla. But I'm very surprised it has a, has a great taste. I thought it would be, I don't know, kind of more like a protein drink, which it is a protein drink if it's got 28%. Kind of like one of those, you know, um, insurers or something. I've had so many different kinds of those and had to have, drink those over the years. Um, this, I mean, it doesn't have quite the stuff in it that an insurer does, but it sure is close. And it has a great taste to it. So if y'all, you know, would like a boost in your protein, that's a definite. And then the calcium, 50% of your calcium right there right away so it's not bad uh, I really really like those I wish they had some other flavors but this is the only one they had I'm trying to think how much they were I can't remember it seemed like they were like 50 cents or something but look for those at, at your store I don't know if they would have them in the, in the refrigerated section or not since they don't have to be refrigerated, they could be on the shelf. So just check it out. Those are really, really good. All right. Did I show the, I didn't show the potato taco casserole. Here it is. And yeah, I put pepper on mine. I, I think you can tell. I like pepper on mine, but there's those biscuits. Let me tell you, that was good. There was nothing left on my plate. I don't think there was on either either of theirs either. And the good thing is there's enough for another meal. That's a big plus, you know, for me, is if you can make enough, uh, much more economical if you make it enough for two meals at one time, you're using, you know, your oven. Well, I'll probably have to put it back in the oven, though, to heat it back up. I think I'll add some more cheese or something on top. But, I mean, if you can get enough to make two meals, you, it's definitely going to be very budget-friendly. So, so I really enjoyed that, and they did too, and we will have that again. And the nacho was great in it. I used nacho, uh, that Fiesta cheese, uh, Fiesta nacho cheese soup or whatever, the Campbell's in it, and it was great. It was great in it. I imagine you could fix it the, the way it says on there with the regular cheddar cheese and the green chilies and stuff, and it would be great too, either way. Okay, let's do some today's tidbits. Is it important to rake leaves in fall? 
There are some benefits to letting the fall leaves lie where they drop. A thin coating of, excuse me, of fall leaves can prevent invasive seeds from proliferating on the lawn. The yard soil benefits greatly from the nutrients found in decomposing leaves. However, raking leaves is crucial as dead leaves may deprive the grass of oxygen once they become wet. So there's pros and cons to it. I'll probably leave mine. <laughs> We don't have as many leaves as we used to. Uh, used to, it was more trees around here. You know, they've got fallen and been cut down and all kinds of stuff. Okay, um, I almost used this picture this morning, but I decided to do the taste test. But I may use this picture one day because this is pretty amazing. World's longest timber towered bridge in Michigan opens to tourists. Look at this thing. And I don't know how far back it goes this way from where they took the picture. But that's a long ways. Whoa. The world's longest timber tower suspension bridge in Michigan is now open to tourists in time for the fall foliage. That'd be awesome. Between McLouth and Disciples Ridge, the bridge offers stunning views of the Boyne Valley. Skybridge, Michigan officials said that operations could be halted if winds exceed 35 miles per hour or thunderstorms are likely within 15 miles. Well, yeah, I, I can see that. Scientists continue to monitor an Earth-sized spot on the sun. Scientists discovered a spot on the sun's surface in August that was quickly growing to the same size as the Earth in just a couple of days. The sunspot, AR3085, captured the interest of the international scientific community. Although not dangerous, it has the potential to produce high energy particles that could have an impact on the atmosphere. And NASA releases images of fall foliage view from outer space. NASA has released stunning, stunning images of fall foliage captured from outer space. The majority of the nation has already started to change colors with a few northern states past their peak. The color change is about halfway done for Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and Texas. Southern states like Florida and Louisiana are yet to see colors change. Okay. <coughs> Let's find. <laughs> nice news. Pioneering composer Helen Hagen has her music played at Yale again after 110 years. Let me make this a little bigger. Oops, oops, what'd I do? Okay, that's better. In 1912, Helen Hagen became the first black woman to graduate from the Yale School of Music. Before that, she had played piano at the Dixwell Avenue Congressional Church, the oldest formally recognized African-American congre congregational church. <laughs> at a ripe age of nine, and she would later be one of the first black pianists to give a recital in New York City. Despite her trailblazing career, though, the pioneer composer has received little recognition. On Friday evening at Yale's Woolsey Hall, Samantha Egg set out to change that. On the same venue that Hagen first performed her concerto for C minor for piano and orchestra as a student. Egg brought the music to life again 110 years later. She included the composition on her album Black Renaissance Woman with this album and all with all my albums, I always want to show off women's virtuosity because of the gendered and racial stereotypes around intellectual ability. She got a lot of long words in that sentence. Wow. The British concert pianist and musicologist said in a press release, I feel that it's so important to show just what these women were capable of and the ways in which they broke down the variety of stereotypes that sought to really contain them. Whoa. Blast from the past, floppy disk endure at this in California warehouse. Huh. 
Do you remember the time when floppy disks were at the very height of technological innovation? We've come a long way from the classic 3.5 inch disk. CDs, USB flash drives, and cloud storage have largely taken their place when it comes to saving information, but one warehouse in California is keeping the 1990s staple around. At floppydisk.com, Tom Persky takes an old floppy disk and resells them to various niche industries in which they're still usable, including embroidery and aircraft maintenance. If you build a plane 20 or 30 or 40 years ago, you would use a floppy disk to get information in and out of some of the avionics of that airplane, the 73-year-old explained to Reuters. Floppy disks are very reliable, very stable, a very well understood way to get information in and out of a machine, he added. Plus, they have additional features of not being very hackable. Persky said he knows his business won't endure for the long haul, but he plans to stick around until the end of the floppy disk. I'll be here as long as people continue to want to have these disks, he said, but it's not forever. <laughs> Meet the disabled Pakistani woman changing lives with free, customizable wheelchairs. Okay. Born in Punjab, Pakistan, Zahia, Zahida Qureshi was paralyzed after a bout of polio as a baby. She learned how to crawl to get around as a child, but she didn't receive her first wheelchair until she was a young adult entering university. Despite the challenges she faced, Krishi dreamed of creating change in the world. Now 41, she's devoted her life to empowering differently abled people. In 2008, when she was in her 20s, Krishi launched the organization she helms today, the Society for Special Persons, a nonprofit dedicated to providing people with disabilities with social, economic, and educational opportunities. SSP holds leadership workshops and training courses, teaching computer skills, mobile repair, dressmaking, and handicrafts. The group also helps members of the disabled community find jobs and even has its own cricket league called the Wheelchair Super League. Most notably, though, the organization runs a customizable wheelchairs manufacturing program, which has provided 6,000 people with free wheelchairs since its inception. That's awesome. Each chair is built to order based on its user's weight, gender, and specific disability. Some features intricate designs and bright colors and are all built by people who themselves have a disability. It's the first half of 2022 alone in the first half of 2022 alone, SSP produced over 500 wheelchairs. That's great. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's a post -it. Quote of the day is from Alexandre Dumas. Alexander Dumas. All human wisdom is summed up in these two words, wait and hope. All right, everybody, that's it for morning coffee break. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'm sorry my nose has been kind of numb all, all morning. I don't know. But I guess it's got warm again. And there's more stuff. It had a little cold spell, and now it's warm again. And there's more pollen, I guess. I don't know what it is. It's driving me crazy. But anyway... <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great day and look for the Kroger haul today. We've got some great deals there and Kroger is, um, the, the way I understand it, they're merging with Albertsons and all their different ones. So that may be some interesting changes coming up. I don't know. So anyway, uh, so y'all that have a Albertsons may be able to have, they may do more Kroger stuff in there or something. I don't, like, like I said, it'll be, remains to be seen what they'll do. But anyway, thanks so much for watching everybody. Have a great day and God bless.